And finally, community partners add value. We have done a lot in the past seven years to increase both local and national partners to increase our student achievement. Our national partners include new leaders for new schools, the new teacher project, community for neighborhood enterprise, city year, which is something new, and that's going to be the mentoring program that will be instituting next year, the new teacher center, and Teach for America. We need to continue to find ways to increase the number of partnerships to bring national experts to support our staff and students. I would like to end by sharing what research says, research says are the common characteristics shared by all high-performing schools. One, high expectations are communicated in a concrete way. Principals hold high expectations for faculty and staff who hold high expectations for themselves and their students. There is a strong belief that all students can succeed academically and that faculty and staff are capable of making this happen. Relationships. The caring, nurturing atmosphere in the school relates closely to high expectations. Respectful relationships are observed among adults, between adults and students, and among students. Academic instructional focus. High performing schools have a strong focus on academics, instruction, and student learning. <coughs> Student assessment. High performing schools pay close attention to their performance on state assessments. They have a system in place to regularly access the progress of individual students and a plan to change instruction and to meet student needs. <coughs> Leadership and decision making. Leadership styles vary greatly at, at different schools, but all high performing schools share a collaborative decision making process. I'll repeat that. All high-performing schools share a collaborative decision-making process. A high-performing school does not have an authoritarian or a dictator-type leader. Faculty and staff are involved in making most key decisions. Faculty work, ethic, and morale. Faculty and staff work very hard to meet their students' needs, regularly analyzing data on individual students and planning appropriate instruction or intervention. They help families and students find transportation, clothing, health care, and other services, and they work after school and on weekends to provide help with tutoring, portfolios, assessment preparation, or parent programs. They do this work with enthusiasm and dedication. Teacher recruitment, hiring, and assignment. A contributing factor to high morale and overall success at a high-performing school is the careful and intentional manner in which teachers are recruited, hired, and assigned. I'd like to stay, take this opportunity to recognize some of our outstanding schools who have done a great job of increasing student performance, in particular in the area of mathematics. The following elementary schools have had a much better value-added growth than the district average over the past few years. And the principals of these schools stand, as I call their names, Bethune, Burdick, Carver, Cass, Dirkler, Elm, Fairview, French Immersion, German Immersion, Hampton, Honey Creek, Ideal, Longfellow, Manitoba, Martin Luther King, Bolivar, Pierce, Silver Spring, Starnes, and Townsend. Let's give them a round of applause. pockets of great success in our district, but there are still pockets of failure. What we do well together will make a difference. I know we have the talent, skills, expertise, and energy in this auditorium to make that difference in the lives of our children. Have a great school year, everyone. to the audience and, and people just general questions that you might have and kind of make some announcements. <laughs>